Hello, welcome to SimpleScuba.com. In this session, we're going to look at the Scu Pro Mark 17 S600 regulators. So let's take a closer look. If we take a look at the first stage to begin with, it's a fully balanced first stage. It's a diaphragm design, environmentally sealed as well, so it's great for cold water use, uh, UK sort of below 10 degrees. You can see around here at the top, got a number of fins. Obviously, these just help transfer the uh, the temperature difference away from the first stage into the water around it, helping to sort of prevent free flowing due to ice forming. It's available in DIN 300 bar, as you can see here, but also 232 bar A clamp as well. It's fitted with two low pressure ports and a high pressure port on both sides, so a total of four low pressure and two high pressure. Obviously opposite sides, so it makes routing very easy for hoses. A nice big bump cap on the top here, obviously it prevents any damage due to overhead um, knocking. Um, if you're penetrating to a wreck or you're doing cave diving, obviously that helps just prevent any damage from occurring uh, during the dive. And at the bottom, again, got another impact zone. Uh, obviously when you're putting it down on the hard surfaces or on the ground, it just helps prevent the, um, the chrome on the first stage from actually being knocked off. Going on to the second stage. The S600 is a fully balanced second stage, very high performing. Metal nice metal front on the purge cover, with a big purge in the middle, very easy to operate, goes down nicely. I'll turn it around to the side, see you've got a number of controls on here. This uh, larger knob controls the tension on the spring and the effort required to open the valve. So if you do get into a situation where it might be free flowing for whatever reason, um, or ever so slightly trickling through, you can increase the tension on the first, on the second stage, sorry, and it will um, help to shut off that. Or if you do need to make it a little bit harder to breathe for whatever reason, that obviously same purpose, just wind it into whatever the setting you require, and that will obviously tighten the valve up. Obviously, most instances you're going to be have it wound all the way out, and that's a optimum flow. And there's one on top here controls the venturi inside the second stage. When you breathe, it uh, helps to increase flow uh, inside the second stage, giving you best performance from the valve into the mouthpiece, obviously most direct route. In its pre-dive mode, as it's set here, pointed to pre-dive, it's forcing some of the air back towards the diaphragm, helping to close the valve should it free flow for whatever reason. So that air just pushes the diaphragm back out, which in turn shuts the valve. Obviously, when you're diving, you're going to have it in dive mode, and that's giving you best flow towards the mouthpiece. The exhaust deflector, pretty small on this uh, second stage, but wide enough so it is passing the bubbles around the side of the face. It's not interfering with vision, or if you're a photographer, it's not interfering with your camera at all. And then the mouthpiece uses uh, Scoop Pro's uh, super soft, uh, super comfort mouthpiece. Very soft silicon, very flexible. All the edges have been rounded off to give a nice smooth finish. So it's not going to cause any irritation uh, or any damage to the gums or inside of the mouth. So fantastic uh, first and second stage. Great for cold water use. Great for UK.